Hey guys, welcome to Vlogoween Day 28. Vlogoween Day 28. So, in yesterday's video, if you guys watched it, you would know that I was ranking my Dancing with the Stars Horror Night predictions. Not predictions. Um, Horror Night dances for this year. Um, so, I figured I'm actually going to start doing that weekly now until the show ends which is sometime next month it normally goes from sometime in the sep in September to and the end of the season the finale is normally sometime in November so there's only a couple weeks left which is pretty sad because I love the show and I hate to see it end every year but I just know that it's 99% chance it's coming back on the next year so I just have to look forward to that um but yeah this week not this week Today, in today's video, I'm going to pretty much catch up on the rankings, pretty much. Um, basically tell you guys my week one dance rankings up until Horror Night. So I'm not going to tell you the Horror Night rankings because I already did that yesterday. But I'm kind of like catching up on the rankings on this channel. So, that's what I'm doing. So, basically just saying my rankings from week one, two, three, up until Horror Night. And then I will start sometime next week. For, no, Vlogoween ends on Sunday. So sometime next week's video, my first video after Vlogoween will probably be my um, rankings for next week, which is Queen Night. So I think all the songs are, all the dances are being performed to songs by Queen. So that is next week's video. So before I get into it, I do want to give a shout out to my amazing boyfriend, Isaac. I love you and I miss you. So let's just get into these rankings. So... First, I'm going to do week one, obviously, because that was the first week. And that was on September 20th of this year. That's when the season started. The cast was announced, see, English. The cast was announced September 8th. And then the show start started September 20th. So, um, yeah. So, the, my rankings for week one. At number one was Iman and Daniela. I'm going to just... I'm just going to say what dance they did. I'm not going to say the scores or the songs they danced to. Because I feel like that would take up too much time. Since I have to like do a couple weeks worth of rankings. So, Iman and Daniela did the jive. Incredible. My, just before the dance started. Because where he's so tall and normally tall people have like difficulty with the jive. Uh, but... And just before the dance started, mom looked at me and said, because he's so tall, I feel like his height will make it a difficulty. Th that's not exactly what she said, but she basically just shortened it and said, I, th I bet he's going to be to getting a f to get a five in this dance. He did get a five, but mom said, um, I'd say he's getting all fives. He actually got two. He got seven, four, five, five. I know I said I wasn't going to say the scores, but just to tell you guys what mom said. But, yeah, just before the dance started, she said, based on his height, I feel like he's getting all fives. He didn't get all fives. He got two fives, a four, and a seven. And he was pretty incredible. So the four and the fives were uncalled for. Seven was good enough or higher. I would have been a, a kind of okay with a six in there, but I feel like the four and fives was just too low because the man was incredible. I feel like every time I see that video pop up on my recommendation section on YouTube, I always watch it. It's a must. Um, number two is Melanie and Gleb. They have the cha-cha to one of the Spice Girl songs. Um, loved it. Melanie really surprised me. Um, next was Jojo and Jenna. They had the quick step. Such entertaining. Such an entertaining dance. Loved it. Number four, the Miz and Whitney. They had the cha-cha. Number five was Suni and Sasha. And there were 15 c celebrities at the start of the season, so... Like, like 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 yesterday's video at number one is my top favorite for the night and 15 is my least favorite again based off of personal enjoyment i'm not no professional judge or professional dancer so i'm only ranking these off of personal enjoyment like i watched it and i'm like i don't want this dance to end you know like that kind of thing um number six is olivia and val's salsa that's what they had Number seven was Matt and Lindsay's Cha Cha, which I actually just rewatched on YouTube. Their Cha Cha just a few minutes ago. Um, number eight was Brian and Sharna's Fox Trot. Number nine was Amanda and Alan's. What dance do they have? 
I have to go through like all 15 couples on this computer to remember which dance they had. But Amanda and Alan had the tango. Number 10 was Chris Christine and Pasha's. Again, looking through them all to see what they had. Tango. <laughs> That's why I'm like taking a while to say what dance they had because I'm still... I have all the couples and their dances for week one pulled up on my screen. So I have to like look through them all to try and find it. Um, number 11 was Cody and Cheryl's tango. I didn't have to look that time because I actually remembered. Um, number 12 was Kenya and Brandon's foxtrot. Number 13 was Melora and Artem's. Okay, this one I can't remember what they had. Tango. Oh, yeah. I remember that now. Yeah, they had the tango. Number 14 was Jimmy and Emma's Tango. And number 15 was Martin and Britt's Pasa Doble. I mean, I gotta say, though, Martin was good. He was pretty good for his age. He's 75, and he actually did better than a lot of people in their 70s have done on the show. I mean, Tommy Chong was the best 70-something-year-old man to do what he did on the show. He went, semi he went to the semifinals, and he was actually amazing. That's why he's always going to be one of my favorites to ever be on the show. But yeah. But like Matt, not, where am I getting Matt from Martin? Martin really surprised me because he's like 75 or something. And he went out and did that. He impressed me pretty much. Um, so now on to week two. This one was on, I don't know when this was. So that's fine. My week two rankings based off, again, personal enjoyment. Okay, why can't I find it? Don't tell me I lost my rankings for week two. Okay, no, I didn't. Week two was just a regular night. No theme, no nothing. Um, my first ranking was Amanda and Alan's Foxtrot. Number two was JoJo and Jenna's Cha-Cha, I think they had. Yeah, they had the Cha-Cha. Killer performance. Um, number three was The Miz and Whitney's Tango. Did they have the tango? Yes, they did. Um, number four was Jimmy and Emma's rumba. Number five was Brian and Sharna's, still looking through all the couples and their songs and dances, rumba. The cut. okay. While I was looking at Twitter after Brian and Sharna's rumba, I felt like pretty much 99% of the tweets I saw was like, since they're actually in a relationship outside the show too, like, Every 99% of the tweets I saw on Twitter when scrolling past it was like the rumba was so like stop and pose kind of deal and then just keep walking and stop and pose again and they f they just felt too lovey and I'm like that's what the rumba is about you have to have the chemistry and dance you know and it was pretty entertaining for me yeah there was a lot of walking around and then posing and then walking again and then posing but like I loved it still so it's at number five for me number six was Suni and Sasha's cha cha. Seven was Kenya and Brandon's cha-cha. She did mess up a bit, though, but still loved it. Um, eight was Cody and Cheryl's salsa. May I just say, he got all sixes. He should have gotten, like, at least all sevens or all eights. Loved it. I mean, of course, they got all sixes because he and his partner both had COVID at the time. They couldn't actually be in the same building to perform it. So they had to go buy rehearsal footage. So they pretty much marked it. But, like, they still could have gotten all sevens or eights. Because even though they marked it, they still did incredible. So, the six was, were just, like, not it. Um, number nine was Melanie C. and Gleb's Foxtrot. Number ten was Olivia and Val's Beanie's Waltz. Eleven was Iman and Daniela's Rumba. Twelve was Christine, Christine and Pasha's Salsa. To one of my favorite songs, Despacito. Love the song. I actually know a bit of the song too. And it's a Spanish song, which is impressive for me because I don't speak a word of Spanish. Um, number 13 was Melora and Artem's Rumba. 14 was Martin and Britt's Cha Cha. And 15 was Matt and Lindsay's Samba. Next was, I'm going to do my rankings for Britney Knight, which was week three. So for Britney Knight, all songs were written, all dances were to songs written by Britney Spears. Um, number one for me was Olivia and Val's Tango. They got all eights, but I, they should have gotten at least one nine because the dance was just too good. Um, number two was The Miz and Whitney's Salsa. 
loved it incredible and one of the lifts were just amazing um number three was jojo and jenna's argentine tango obsessed with the dance number four was amanda and alan's cha-cha number five was kenya and brandon's tango number six was melora and artem's cha-cha number seven was cody and Cheryl's jazz Number eight was Brian and Sharna's tango. Number nine was Matt and Lindsay's tango. Number ten was Jimmy and Emma's salsa. Loved their outfits, by the way, in their salsa. Um, such bright colors. Loved it. Um, number eleven was Christine and Pasha's pasta doble. Um, number twelve was Suni and Sasha's foxtrot. Loved Suni's dress, by the way. Um, number 13 was Melanie C. and Gleb's Tango. And number 14 was Iman and Daniela's. Where is it to? Iman and Daniela's Tango. Next one is for Disney Night. So there were two nights for Disney Night. Heroes Night and Villains Night. So for Heroes Night, number one was Jojo and Jenna's Vini's Waltz. Um, number two was Melora and Artem's. I can't even find it. Oh, quick step. There we go. Number three was Suni and Sasha's Salsa. Number four was The Miz and Whitney's Quick Step. Number five was Jimmy and Emma's Pasta Doble. Number six was Matt and Lindsay's Quick Step. Number seven was Olivia and Val's Samba. I almost said Rumba for a second, but I had caught myself. Number eight was Melanie C and Gleb's Jazz. I couldn't find it for a second. Um, number nine was Iman and Danielle's Foxtrot. Number 10 was Amanda and Alan's Rumba. Number 11 was Kenya and Brandon's Contemporary. 12 was Cody and Cheryl's Jive. And 13 was Brian and Sharna's Waltz. And now for night two of Disney Night, which was Villains Night. Again, JoJo's at the top of my list. Number one was JoJo and Jenna's Pasa Doble. Number two was Amanda and Alan's Pasta Doble. Number three was the Miz and Whitney's Argentine Tango. Loved the Miz's costume for that dance as, as well. Um, number four was Iman and Daniela's Argentine Tango. And the lifts, like I said for yesterday's video, the lifts were just incredible in the Argentine Tango as well. Again, Daniela is in a whole other league of her own on, in this show. <coughs> incredible. Um, number five was Melanie C. and Gleb's Beanie's Waltz. Number six was Suni and Sasha's Beanie's Waltz. Number seven was Jimmy and Emma's Jazz. Love the song they dance to, by the way. Bad Guy, Billie Eilish. Any song by Billie Eilish, I love. Billie Eilish is my queen. Literally <laughs> love her and her music. Um, number eight was a dance that got the first turn of the season, Melora and Artem's Jazz. Number nine was Kenya and Brandon's Vini's Waltz. Number 10 was Olivia and Val's Jazz. Number 11 was Cody and Cheryl's Vini's Waltz. Number 12 was Matt and Lindsay's Pasa Doble. And number 13 was Brian and Sharna's Pasa Doble. And the week after that was Grease Night. And I believe, yeah, this was last week. So Horror Night was this past Monday. The week before was Grease Night. So this is the last rank group of rankings. I'm going to do. So, at number one, once again, Jojo and Jenna's Foxtrot. Number two was Suni and Sasha's Charleston. Loved the end of it. Such a cute dance. Number three was Amanda and Alan's Vini's Waltz. Number four was The Miz and Whitney's Jive. Loved the song they danced to, by the way. I haven't seen Grease, but I've heard the song Grease Lightning multiple times. I've heard 99% of the songs from Grease before, even though I've never seen the movie in my life. But I'm down to see it at, at some point. Very soon, I think. Um, number five was Olivia and Val's Foxtrot. Number six was Melora and... I almost said Melora and Brandon. What the heck? Melora and Artem's Feeney's Waltz. Number seven was Kenya and Brandon's. There's Brandon. Rumba. Um, number eight was Melanie C. and Gleb's Quick Step. Again, great song. You're the one that I want. Classic. Um, even if you haven't seen the movie, you should know the song, You're the One That I Want. Um, 
Number nine is Iman and Daniela's Beanie's Waltz. Number 10 was Jimmy and Emma's Foxtrot. And number 11 was Cody and Cheryl's Quick Step. So, those are my rankings for the last five weeks of Dancing with the Stars. So, starting next week in my first video after Vlogoween is over, I will do my rankings for next week, next week, which, like I said, is Queen Night. So, all performances are danced to a song by Queen. So, super excited for that. I haven't heard much of Queen songs except Bohemian Rhapsody, I think, is one. And We Will Rock You. And there's one other song. Oh, another one, Bites the Dust. And there's another one. I can't remember what it's called, but it's perfect. It's like a jive song. If you watch Dancing with the Stars, you would know what I'm talking about. But, um, I'm gonna see if I can find it. Queen songs. I'm gonna look for it before I end the video. Don't stop me now. That's the one. And I also think I heard Under Pressure before, too. But those are just a couple of the songs that I think are on it. I don't know about Bohemian Rhapsody. I haven't heard anything about that song on the show yet this week. But I'm the press release for Queen's Night was released today. And I know, I remember that We Will Rock You is going to be Dance to Monday Night. Um, Under Pressure, I think, is for one of the group relay dances. Um, and Another One Bites the Dust is also being performed on Monday Night. So super excited for that. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to see more content from me. And I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogoween Day 29. Bye, guys.